high-level advisors close to then-presidential nominee Donald Trump were in constant communication during the campaign with Russians known to U.S. intelligence, multiple current and former intelligence, law enforcement and administration officials tell CNN. President-elect Trump and then-President Barack Obama were both briefed on details of the extensive communications between suspected Russian operatives and people associated with the Trump campaign and the Trump business, according to U.S. officials familiar with the matter. Flint scrambles White House Both the frequency of the communications during early summer and the proximity to Trump of those involved raised a red flag with U.S. intelligence and law enforcement, according to these officials. The communications were intercepted during routine intelligence collection targeting Russian officials and other Russian nationals known to U.S. intelligence. Among several senior Trump advisors regularly communicating with Russian nationals were then-campaign chairman Paul Manafort and then-advisor Michael Flynn. Officials emphasized that communications between campaign staff and representatives of foreign governments are not unusual. However, these communications stood out to investigators due to the frequency and the level of the Trump advisors involved. Investigators have not reached the judgment on the intent of those conversations. Adding to U.S. investigators' concerns were intercepted communications between Russian officials before and after the election discussing their belief that they had special access to Trump. Two law enforcement officials tell CNN. These officials cautioned the Russians could have been exaggerating their access. CNN has reached out to the White House and Flynn for comment. In an interview, Manafort emphatically denied that he was in contact with Russians known to U.S. intelligence. That is 100% not true, at least as far as me, he said. I cannot believe that they are including me in anything like that. I have not been involved in any of these activities. Manafort said he did not know where U.S. officials got the idea that he was in contact with suspected Russian operatives during the campaign but said he never spoke with any Russian officials during that time. I don't remember talking to any Russian officials, however. Certainly during the time we are talking about, he said, calling the allegations boggling. I have knowingly never talked to any intelligence official or anyone in Russia regarding anything of what's under investigation, he said. I have never had any connection to Russian President Vladimir Putin or the Russian government before, during or after the campaign. Trump knew about Flynn four weeks. Manafort said the FBI has not contacted him about the allegations and said he was not aware of any other Trump campaign officials or people close to Trump being in touch with Russians known to U.S. intelligence. Manafort, who has held business ties with Russian and Ukrainian individuals, also emphasized that his work for the Yanukovych government in Ukraine should not be interpreted as closeness to the Russians. He said he worked for Yanukovych during a time when Ukraine was moving into the European orbit. The extensive contacts drew concerns of U.S. intelligence and law enforcement officials in part because it came at a time of Russian cyber activities targeting mostly Democratic Party political organizations. Post-election intelligence briefings on Russian meddling in the U.S. elections included details of those communications, which included people involved in Trump's businesses. The communications were gathered as part of routine U.S. intelligence collection and not because people close to Trump were being targeted. McC